Hello, my name is Mama Al Fasha. Today in this video, I will share with you guys about sustainable initiative impact on the aviation environment. The main issue that I want to talk about is a New Zealand commitment to reducing single-use plastic waste in flight. So, first and foremost, we will go through a New Zealand background and history. So. On 1 April 1965, Tasman Empire Airways Limited was rebranded as Air New Zealand. The government of New Zealand having purchased the government of Australia's 50% stake in 1961. Therefore, Air New Zealand began as Tasman Empire Airways Limited. Founded in 1939 by an international agreement between Air New Zealand, Australia and the United Kingdom. It initial stakeholder were the New Zealand Government, Union of New Zealand, Qantas and the British Overseas Airways Corporation. Next, back to our main issue. The current issue that I want to point out and highlight is the impact of the air transport industry on the environment is significant. There is no denying that airlines rely heavily on single-use plastic with more than 5 million tons of cabin waste created in, the, in a single year. According to Ayata, the current issue that we face is the excessive use of plastic waste in flight. Based on the data provided by International Air Transport Association, IATA, estimates that a passenger flight generates approximately 6 million tonne of waste per year. A major challenge confronted by the airlines in reducing waste to landfill is the apparent shortage of recycling and composting infrastructure available for the airline to send its waste material to. However, recent initiative from tackling carbon emission to reducing single-use plastic both on the ground and in flights indicate the airline and airports are united in their effort to reduce their impact on the environment. Therefore, Air New Zealand has introduced a series initiative to reduce single-use plastic on its flights and it has this year committed to removing nearly 55 million plastic items from its flights. Furthermore, uh, the airline has removed individual plastic water bottles from its business premium and premium economy cabins as well as from its work uh, deluxe offering as on Tasmas and Pacific Island services. This initiative is expected to divert more than 460,000 bottles from landfill annually to reduce uh, and reduce carbon emission by more than six 300 kilogram per year by reducing weight on the aircraft. Besides individual plastic source packets and being removed from business premier cabin on mainland, North America and uh, Hong Kong services and will be completely removed from the global network. Customer will instead be served the source in reusable dish which is expected to prevent about 200,000 plastic packets from going to landfill each year. Besides uh, Air New Zealand launched a Project Green West program in 2017. Since its reception, the Project Green West Management program together with other West relation strategies has enabled the airline to mitigate the environment impact on its annual West, especially those disposed, disposed of landfill. According to them, by February 2020, the Project Green Waste Management uh, program had enabled uh, New Zealand to recover 50, 85 tonne of water bottles, over 11.5 million plastic glasses and more than 4 million sugar sticks. The airline is also set roll-up cup 
made from plain instead of plastic across its domestic and international airport. Uh, why plastic, uh, plastic waste cup will be switched to recyclable initiative in alternative. The total of cup replaced by the end of this year of expected to reach 44.5 million. Okay, next. Uh, we will go through the benefit of initiative. So, so the benefit is it could help decrease the use and impact of single plastic at airport and aircraft. Meanwhile, one of the key benefit from uh, for uh, New Zealand from its project grid waste management uh, program is the airlines achieving cost saving by not biosecurity treating the product and being uh, required to pay the applicable landfill charge. Uh, according to Bradley 2090, a further benefit has been of staff en engagement. In addition to reducing amount of waste disposed to landfill, the data captured by New Zealand has resulted in the company being better able to assess flight loading requirements. In conclusion, we as user need to take responsibility for our environment cleanliness. Reducing the use of single plastic is one of the strategies that can be used, as it is one of the things that can cause in flight waste pollution. So that's all. Uh, thank you guys.